Hey everybody, uh, it's me Ned and I'm super excited to show you my new car, my new to me car. Uh, as you may know, I blew up the transmission in my WRX, so that's been uh, early put into the warehouse here for the winter. Um, someone ran a red light, hit the Celica, so that's in the warehouse here uh, for the winter and pending me, you know, cleaning it up, doing body work to it. Uh, the Miata, I could drive it, but the rear plastic's all frosted so you can't see through the rear if you have the top up. I feel like a jerk driving a Miata with the top up anyway, um, and I can't really deliver wine in it. So I bought a new car. And here it is. It's a 1996 Subaru Legacy L. Um, 95 was the first year they started making this generation. Uh, I think in that year they had the Brighton, which was like the base model. Uh, 96, I think this, I think they didn't make a Brighton then. This is like a base model car from 96. Uh, it has 100,000 miles on it. Um, when it was new, Bill Clinton had just been re-elected to uh, his second term as president. It's 21 years old. Uh, as you can see, I've already done a little bit of stuff to it. Um, when I bought it, it was on the original 21-year-old super saggy, actually broken springs. So, I kid you not, this car had less ground clearance than my Celica, which is lowered on King Motorsports springs or the Miata. Like, this car was, like, down here. Um, so, I actually got 96 Outback struts and uh, springs and had them installed on it. And, you know, with the combination of, so the, the spring mounts on the uh, Outback struts are like two inches higher. And then uh, just using, you know, the fact that they're new springs so they're not saggy, got me like an extra three inches of lift on the car. And, and as you can see, I took the hubcaps off and uh, spray painted them all gold metallic. So it's, you know, it's basically just like my WRX really. You can see here, I also got 185 series uh, snow tires. So, uh, you know, snow tires are kind of uh, counterintuitive to like normal performance tires on pavement in like snow and slush and stuff like that. You actually want a narrower contact patch because it will concentrate the weight of your vehicle and kind of cut through the snow and slush more, you know, just like a, like a knife, you know, focuses force, concentrates it more, so it concentrates the amount of weight that you have, a smaller footprint, um, and uh, these, these Champiro, Champiro, Champiro Ice Pros, these things should be awesome in the winter. And I don't know if this is gonna come out. Is this gonna come through? Can you see this? Oh yeah, you can see that. Check this out, look. The, uh, you know, so it's a boxer. This is the uh, EJ22 single overhead cam, 2.2 uh, liter, super tough motor, doesn't have the head gasket problems of the, the later EJ25, so I'm super excited about this. Um, look at that, the uh, exhaust ports in the two banks of the flat four are merged like inside the head, and then there's just one pipe on either side coming across, merging back there. This has actually got effectively uh, equal, equal length piping from both sides. That's pretty, pretty crazy. So here's the interior. Um, it's, uh, it's, you know, basically just normal, lots of plastic, but super clean and original, full of my junk right now. Listen to this baby R roar. Um, yeah, so I think from the factory, the EJ22 made like 130 horsepower, something like that. Uh, you know, that was 21 years ago. Who knows how much power it's making now? 200? I don't think so. I bet, I bet that this car, if I put it on, uh, 
like the same Mustang dyno that I had my WRX on. I bet that this, this thing would make like 85 wheel horsepower or something like that. But that's okay. 2.2 um, liter, flat four. It's pretty fuel efficient. Much more, I mean, the, the WRX is horrible. This is, this is almost three times, I think, the mileage. No, that's not true. It's, but it, it might be like twice the fuel mileage that the WRX gets. Um, all wheel drive, uh, five speed manual. Oh, right, I was talking about how much I love the EJ22. Yeah, um, it's uh, not a really, you know, high strung, high performance at all motor. Like it is not tuned for that. It's built and tuned just for reliability. Um, so it's a really tough motor. Uh, unlike the later 2.5 liter motors that they actually started putting in these cars and the Outbacks that were based on this generation, the EJ22 uh, is is super, super tough. Doesn't blow head gaskets. Like You can just run them and run them and run them. When I bought this car, I bought it from some guy out in the Bermuda Triangle of used cars in Maine, out west of Augusta. It's weird, there's like nothing out there, but every mile there's just another like little used car place, like some some guy with like a little garage. It's where all the like old cars in Maine go to be resold as used cars. Uh, so I got it out there, brought it back to Portland. Like I said, it was super low. Uh, I knew I had to change that because uh, this is Maine and Maine winters, we get a lot of snow. I have a bunch of different properties I have to get around to and stuff. So uh, snow tires, jacked it up, took care of that. When I got it, it very much just felt like driving a couch around. It was super, super just like, it didn't lean a whole lot because there wasn't like a ton of suspension travel, but it was just like floppy. Um, it's definitely a little bit stiffer and more controlled now with the fresh springs on it, but it still just like rides over everything, over any bumps. Um, but it's pretty, it's actually pretty controlled. Um, yeah, you know, like it leans, it leans into a corner, but um, but it, at least like now it has fresh new springs on it. It's not a old car floppy, but really driving this thing, like compared to uh, my WRX or the Celica, like those cars with, you know, the, the built motor in the Celica and the EJ257 swap and the big turbo and stuff and all, you know, equal length headers, all that in the WRX, like driving those cars around, it's like you're walking your pet Jaguar or your pet like Coyote around in the city. It's awesome, it's exciting and you're like, yeah, I'm a badass. I've got a pet coyote walking down the street of the city, but at the same time, you're constantly worried, like, is the coyote going to bite me? Is the jaguar going to eat me? Is it going to eat someone's child? Is it going to, like, randomly out with no warning, like, maul someone? Um, that's a little bit of how it feels sort of driving driving my other cars, because they're just always ready to go. They're all, they're, they're kind of high strung and aggressive. Um, this car is not. This car is super, super boring. This car is, like, walking your old yellow lab around um actually check okay wait here flat I mean, it moves but you know it's not like the crazy wrx or the celica and really that was very quiet and now check this out i'm in fifth gear now i'm turning 1200 rpm going like 33 miles per hour. The car's okay with it. Uh, now I have to downshift. Anyway, though, you can just cruise around in super high gear. It gets great gas mileage. It's so quiet. It's amazing. I, like, if there's, it's, I, it still shocks me compared to my other cars how quiet this is. Um, yeah, anyway, so I'm super excited about this car. I'm really glad to have this. Um, it's uh, pretty much exactly what I need to get around in Maine in the winter. And I'm really, it's also kind of exciting for me to be driving something that's an artifact from uh, the mid 90s that 
when this car was new, I was a freshman in high school. I don't even remember being a freshman in high school. I remember my school had block scheduling, but I don't really actually remember it. I actually really kind of burned all those memories out of out of my my head. Um, but still, you know, 21 years ago. So it's kind of cool to be driving this little like time capsule, this little bubble from the 90s around. I've got to get some some cool 90s cassette tapes to listen to while I uh, while I cruise around in the snow in this thing. Uh, once we get some snow, I'll take this thing out in a blizzard and I'll uh, I'll do a another video of it, you know, with like how it is actually out in the snow, what it's really more meant for. So, anyway, cool. Thanks for watching.